Peace family, I'm back with another collective reading, collective message for you guys. All right, let's get into the reading, y'all. Before, but before I get into the reading, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I do cross post between Facebook and YouTube, but however, you know, Facebook has already started messing with my videos. Um, so, if you want to stay connected to me just in case anything happens to this, to this page, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe ASAP, okay? All right, so the first card I pulled is non-duality. Non-duality. It says, let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. So non-duality means that everything is inseparable. Like you are one with the universe. Everything is just a part of, of source, of, of all. And that this matrix, this world is actually an illusion, okay? This, it's not real. Everything is, is an illusion, okay? Um, so, you know this shit ain't real. So, be yourself. Be your authentic self. Let your authenticity shine, shine through. But humble yourself, okay? Humble yourself because we have we have grief here. We have grief and non-duality, right? So I feel like you're being humble or your humility is being tested right now at this time. Now with grief, it says tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. So... You know, maybe you've been hurt. Maybe you've been cold-hearted, you know, and it's time for you to purge. You could be going through a purging process where you're releasing um, negativity, emotions, hurt, resentment, trauma from your past um, as well. Um, I don't know why Mario's song, I Can Hear Your Heart Crying Out For Me. I guess because the heart was like crying out. Anyway, um, those lyrics that say, coming in, coming in, coming in, it's saving me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you, you're feeling, you could be feeling low or feeling like, you know, you need someone to come save you or something. Um, but your humility is being tested. It says, allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Okay. So you guys need to be open to receive divine assistance um, from source. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else is going on with you guys. My chakra, chakra wisdom deck. This is the OG. This is like one of my first decks ever when I first started doing readings six years ago <laughs> so here we go what else does the collective need to know at this moment in time all right abundance Hey, if you've been going through some financial troubles, financial woes, just know that your abundance, abundance is on the horizon, okay? But it's up to you. It's going to be because of you, because of your own actions. It's going to lead you to the abundance. Now, I know this story on the card, it shows two people. It's a man, you know, he dropped, I think, a coin or something in the gutter. And then it's a girl, I guess, that dropped something. And 
She's a smart one. She found a way to still get what she lost. Okay? And he's like, oh, well, I lost it, you know? So he's, he's stressed out, you know, because he might have lost some money. But you were able to get it, okay? Because you thought outside the box, you know? In order to obtain this abundance, you may need to think outside of the box or go outside of your comfort zone as well. Okay? Remember I said none of this is real and then we have facade. Okay, so you guys could be living a facade. You could be living in the past as well. Some of y'all need to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's like in the matrix when they pull the plug. You know, when they come back to to reality, like, it's time to wake up. Because y'all have gotten complacent. Remember I said, wake up? She crying and stuff. You know, you've, got, you've gotten complacent, and it's, um, it's affecting your foundation. Because it's red, and it represents the, the root chakra, okay? Then we got despondence despondence I forgot what that means I'm sorry y'all I'm looking at this book and see what that means despondence you don't see that word every day okay but this lady down here she looked like she mad at her or something I don't know okay it says by taking action I found the road out it says you have all the answers you need within this card may indicate an emotional tie that no longer serves you remember how you create how you relate to the it to the issue is the issue obstacles are removed when you change your relationship to them so this hater this hater down here this girl look like she ain't on her okay you gotta um cut some ties or reevaluate your relationships and, and let go the ones that no longer serve your highest good Like, don't ever get comfortable. We got creation here. So, you guys are creative. Um, you guys could be healers, you know. Um, you guys may may work with crystals or may need to work with some crystals. It's crazy because she's holding um, purple. And this was the crystal I was holding too, amethyst. So, you guys may need to clear your space as well. Your ancestors could be trying to connect with you as well. Let me see what else, y'all. Isolation. So you guys could be in solitude, but also with this blue sapphire here, because there's a story behind every card, um, there's an opportunity to obtain wealth here. So you may need to go out and network, get out the house. If you get invited to an event, go, you know, or it could be somewhere upscale, you know, acceptance, okay? We got acceptance here. So you need to accept yourself for who you are. Love yourself and all your flaws. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so critical. You you gonna get your piece of the pie. Stop being so critical. Innocence and inability to see one's gifts are indicated, as well as the protection of spirit guides. Good luck and an increase in self esteem and confidence. Okay, so you guys need to know your worth. Know that you're being protected by your your spirit guides and your ancestors. Like I said, we also got rejection. Rejection is spirit's protection. So don't don't overthink things. What's for you is is for you. Okay. What's for you is for you. Don't overthink. Okay. 
You need to get away from these people that that's talking about you, that's gossiping about you, or refrain from gossip or entertaining entertaining any any type of gossip. Just refrain from that. And have faith. Your your situation will improve sooner or later. Your situation will improve. Your faith is being tested right now. Don't don't feel like you have to pick a side. You know, stay neutral in in the situation. If some drama comes up regarding some people, gossip or whatever, just remain neutral. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, cards jumping out already. I ain't even really getting shuffled. I'm going to let that card stay out, but I'm going to just shuffle some more. These cards are so big. They're bigger than my hands, y'all. I got small hands. Let the first card still be the first card that jumped out. All right, all right. So we have movement, choices, and decisions. Okay, so you're about to have to make a decision, a major decision. Okay. You may have to choose between two paths. Make sure you make, you know, the best decision. It could have something to do with your find your um, foundation as well. Shadow. You guys could be going through the dark night of the soul. Could be doing some shadow work. You know, could be unlearning and relearning um, things, working on self improvement as well, facing your fears, facing your demons as well. We got sacrifice, okay? Um, You may have may have had to make some sacrifices. Or you may have to make some sacrifice, whether it be friendships, um, habits, in order to get to the next level, you may need to make a sacrifice. Okay. Look, this is a this is a very positive part. We have positive movement forward here. Very positive. Okay. So, if you've been waiting for your ships to come in, just know they are coming in with positive movement forward. I think this card also represents abundance as well. Um, abundance coming in, basically. Let me double check, though. Um, it says you're a true artisan, for you have gifts, craft skills, and knowledge, um, and talents to assist you even more to advance in a positive direction. The number eight also d always denotes prosperity and abundance, but in this case, it's your efforts that you have gotten that have gotten you to this point. Good for you. This card often comes forward to honor and recognize individuals. Um, are a part of the art design and music education. So you guys could be artists. When you follow and build your passion, the soul can truly express itself and can then assist you to move closer towards your highest good. An opportunity could suddenly come up with an offer for an apprenticeship. Notice if there are areas of passion that are trying to manifest into your world. When they arise, you'll have ample moments to share with you, with others. Okay, so positive, very positive card. Okay, your passions could be the key to your abundance, so you may need to focus on your passion. 
all my artists out there, whoever that's for. Um, listen, I can't make this up. We got wish fulfillment here. Fulfillment of wishes. This is abundance, prosperity. Your wish is granted, okay? Got the crown chakra here. All right. Um, get your head in the game. Clear your mind. You know, um, your mindset could be changing for the better. We got harmony here. Okay. I feel like your heart is healing. Your heart is healing. And things are starting to come into harmony, come into balance for you. Could be a new love interest as well. A deep spiritual initiation. Okay, you guys are going through a deep spiritual initiation. Or a partnership or a union is taking place at this time. Or is manifesting for the future. It can also signify love or other forms of relationships in your life. Whether they're personal or business related. See? Yeah, it's time for you to make choices in certain relationships. The bonds you form with others are really about you. And even in the most difficult situations, they're meant to be mirrors for you. Always reflecting back at what you need to see. Okay. Yeah, so this is the lovers in the original terror deck. But you may need to walk away from an unhealthy relationship. Whether it be love or love, you know, romance or just, you know, family and friends. And it could be blocking your blessings. A lot of times relationships will block your blessings. So you need to walk away from release, purge, okay? And you got to release because it's causing you guys to suffer in silence. Or you guys may have been suffering in silence. Nobody don't even know. I've been suffering in silence for too long. It's time for you to come up out of that energy and step into your abundance. Okay. Ooh, it's a lot of cards. But I'm going to read them. We got discontent and boredom. This is not the time to be discontent and bored. Okay? You guys need to be patient. Your time is coming. What you, the seeds you've sown will manifest. You will reap what you've sown, but you just have to be patient. Okay? Look, we got material and spiritual prosperity. Look, I can't make this up. The, I feel like this is going to come after a, a time of defeat. You feel like you've been defeated. Look, we got the emperor here. Okay, you guys about to boss up. At least I think this is emperor. I think so, yeah. Y'all you, you about to boss up. Okay. Period. Y'all about to boss up. That's what's, that's what's going on. Stepping into your emperor energy. Okay. Yeah. At the tower moment. Just protect your peace. You know. Um, protect your peace. In any relationships that no longer serve your highest good, get rid of all the negativity out of your life. 
and just stay focused and keep your faith keep your energy high vibrate higher but it's definitely it represents the ending of a cycle see new beginnings i can't make this up new beginnings is on the horizon for y'all so that's your reading y'all and then thank you for watching until next time peace love and abundance y'all subscribe y'all make sure you subscribe